Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is the square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 10. So how do we solve this problem? So let's prevent the solution from here. So the first thing here, we can let x to be equal to square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So substituting x into this math problem, then this implies that we solve for x raised to the power of 10. So let's solve for x raised to the power of 10. So now since we have x equal to square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2, the first step to do here, let's multiply both signs by 2, so that now we have 2x is equal to if we simplify here, we have square root of 3 minus 1. The next step is to take minus 1 on the left hand side so that you have 2x plus 1. This is equal to square root of 3. The next step is to square both sides. Let's square both sides from here. So that now 2x plus 1 this to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have 2x raised to the power of 2, then plus 1 squared, then plus 2 times 2x times 1. This is equal to square root of 3 raised to the power of 2. We eliminate the square root, so this is equal to 3. So we have 2x squared. This is 4x squared, then plus 1, then plus 4x. This is equal to 3. The next step is to take 1 plus 4x on the right hand side, so that we have 4x squared. This is equal to 3, minus 1, minus 4x. So here we have 4x squared, this is equal to 3 minus 1, this is equal to 2 minus 4x. The next step is that we can factor out 2 on the right hand side here, so that we have 4x squared, this is equal to 2 into the parentheses, 2 divided by 2, this is 1, minus 4x divided by 2, this is 2x. Then we divide both signs by 2, so that now, here we have 2x squared, this is equal to 1 minus 2x. Let's call this equation 2. We have equation 1 here, that is x equal to square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2, this is equation 1. Now. Since we have the x to the power of 10, let's continue to expand this. So we have 2x squared raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 1 minus 2x raised to the power of 2. So this is 4x squared, that is raised to the power of 4. This is 2 times 2, which is 4. This is equal to, now here we have 1 squared minus 4x then plus 2x squared, which is 4x squared. Now here we have 4x to the power of 4. This is equal to, now here we have 4x squared minus 4x, then plus 1 squared, this is 1. Now we can express 4x squared, this is the same thing as 2 times 2x squared, minus 4x plus 1 and if you recall from equation 2 we have 2x squared this is the same thing as 1 minus 2x this is from equation 2 here this is what we have here equation 2 2x squared is 1 minus 2x let's substitute this so that we have 4x to the power of 4 this is equal to 2 multiplying by 1 minus 2x 
minus 4x plus 1. So that here we have 4x to the power 4. This is equal to 2 times 1. This is 2 minus 2 times minus 2x. This is minus 4x. Then minus here 4x. Then plus 1. So we have 4x to the power 4. This is equal to 2 plus 1. This is 3. Minus 4x minus 4x. This is minus 8x. So let's proceed to expand this so that we have 4x to the power of 4 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 3 minus 8x raised to the power of 2. So here we have 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Then x to the power of 4 times 2. This is equal to 8. And this is equal to... Now here we have 3 squared. This is equal to 9 minus, this is 40, 8x, then plus, this is minus 8x squared, so we have 64x to the power of 2. So we can write this as 16x to the power of 8, this is equal to 64x to the power of 2 minus 48x, then plus 9. We can express 64 x squared as 32 times 2 x to the power of 2 subtract 48 x then plus 9. We can substitute 2 x squared which is equation 2 so that we have 32. Into the parentheses we have 1 minus 2 x minus 48 x then plus 9. So here we have that 2 times 1, this is that 2, minus that 2 times minus 2x, this is minus 64x, then minus 48x, then plus 9. So this implies that 16x to the power of 8, this is equal to that 2 plus 9, this is 41, minus 64x minus 48x, this is minus 112x. Now, the next step from here, we have 16x to the power of 8. So here we multiply it by equation 2 here. We have, here we have 2x squared, which is equal to 1 minus 2x. So now, here we can have 16 x to the power of 8 times 2 x to the power of 2 this is equal to 41 minus 112 x multiplying by 2 x squared this is the same thing as 1 minus 2 x so let's expand this equation now from here we have 16 times 2 this is that 2 x to the power of this is x to the power of 8 times x to the power of 2. Remember this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So here we have 8 plus 2. This becomes 10. So we have that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to... Now this is 41 times 1 minus 2x minus 112x multiplied by 1 minus 2x. So this is that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to 41 times 1. This is 41 minus 41 times minus 2x. This is 82x. Then subtract 112 times 1. This is 112x. Then plus, this is minus 112x times minus 2x, so this becomes plus 224x to the power of 2, x to the power of 2. So this is the same thing as 41 minus, we have 8, minus 82x minus 112x, this becomes minus 194x, then plus, we can express 224x to the power of 2 as 112 
times 2 x to the power of 2 okay and this implies that here we can substitute 2x to the power of 2. Remember 2x to the power of 2? This is the same thing as 1 minus 2x. Substituting this, we have here that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to, we have 41 here, minus 194x, then plus 112. Into the parentheses, this is 1 minus 2x. So we have that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to 41 minus 194x. Then plus 112 times 1. This is 112. Then subtract. This is 112 times minus 2x. This becomes minus 224x. The next step from here, let's correct the like terms together here so that we have that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to, we have 41 plus 112, and this is equal to 153. Subtract minus 184x minus 224x. This becomes 418x. And therefore, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x be equal to square root of 3 minus 1 over 2. So let's substitute x so that we have that 2. x to the power of 10, this is equal to 153 minus 418. Into the parentheses, this is square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So let's simplify here. We have 418 divided by 2. This becomes 209. So that now we have that 2. x to the power of 10. This is equal to 153. Minus 209. Into the parentheses. Square root of 3. Minus 1. So let's open the parentheses here. So we have that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to 153 minus 209 times square root of 3. So this is minus 209 square root of 3. Then minus 209 times minus 1. This is plus 209. The next step is we have that 2x to the power of 10. This is equal to 153 plus 209, and this is equal to 362. Subtract 209, square root of 3. Now, since we are solving x to the power of 10, let's divide both sides by that 2. Also here by 32. So that if we simplify here, we have x to the power of 10. This is equal to, now this is the same thing as 362 over that 2 minus 209 square root of 3 divided by 32. So if we simplify here, let's simplify here so that now here we have x to the power of 10. This is equal to, now we can divide here 362 divided by 2. This is equal to 1. 81 divided by that's 2 divided by 2 this is equal to 16 then subtract here we have 209 square root of 3 divided by 32 and from here this is x to the power of 10 this is x to the power of 10 now we can write this as now x to the power of 10 this is equal to 181 over 16 minus 209 square root of 3 over that 2. And if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x be equal to square root of 3, subtract 1 over 2. So this implies that square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power of 10 
this is equal to this is 181 over 16 minus 209 square root of 3 divided by that 2 and this is the solution to this math problem so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now